Governor of Bielsa State, Senator Doya Derry, has unveiled a new transport scheme in a bid to alleviate the suffering of commuters in the state, occasioned by the federal government's removal of fuel subsidy. Governor Derry, who inaugurated 100 cabs and six luxury buses at the DSP Alamasia Banquet Hall premises, said the initiative was his administration's palliative to boost the transportation sector. He also reaffirmed that the restriction on commercial tricycles at night was still in force and that the taxis and buses were an effective replacement. Today has come to mark the end of what we have been suffering by virtue of the new policies that has led to the increase in transportation fares and by the multiplier effect and by implication increase in the prices of foods, stuffs and every other thing. But we believe that this will now be our own palliative for now at the land sector. The BTC will also take care of the responsibility of training uh, the drivers, their salaries, and other li liabilities such as vehicle maintenance, etc. The BTC will be remitting every month an estimated average monthly income of 30 Governor Diri, however, hopes that the money will be that will be realized from the subsidy removal should be shared within the federating unit. We believe that with the current uh, subsidy removal, those monies should actually come to the federation account, and they should not be decided only in Abuja. And if all of those monies are shared within the federating units and we have our own share with what we are also planning, we are sure that our maritime transportation will also be affected the way we have affected the land transportation. Whilst the federal government also, from their own allocation, is talking about taxis, is talking about buses, they should also think and talk about boats in the Riverline community. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.